Hello everyone, welcome to <coughs> EliteWaveTransferCast.com YouTube channel. This is Henry. Uh, today is July 15. The time is around 3 a.m. GMT. So today we will be looking uh, at the chart of the Dow Jones uh, futures. This is the YMF 45 minutes chart. Uh, we can see right here the index continues to see more upside um, earlier today and <coughs> We got this uh, move higher label as a one two one two, so it's a nest one two one two, and currently another one two uh, in progress right here, and that means as far as we stay above twenty five eight seventy one, uh, the the YMF can continue to see further upside right here. Okay, so now let's zoom out to get a context about this move right here. I'm gonna move this uh, one two in the red degree and the one two in the black here, in the four hour chart. Now for full labels in different time frames, you can always try our service. We have fourteen days free trial. Uh, the link is provided in the description of the video below. Now this is the one two in red here, and this is another one two in black. Okay, this is the one two. So that means we are currently within the wave 3 in the red which subdivides into another 5 waves in the black degree 1 So this is 1 of 3 This is 2 of 3 And now we are in the 3 of 3 to the upside Now again we take a look at the 4 hour chart This is what we are looking at So technically we can continue to see further upside like this if this count is working out as expected right <clears throat> so this is only one of three two three four five ending three in black four in black five in black right and that will end three in red right if this plays out according to what we are proposing now this count here <coughs> As you know, we got two uh, two important sort of pivot. As you know, there is an important low here, March twenty third. This is the COVID nineteen low. The secondary low that is also important right now is here. This is the June fifteen low. <coughs> so we have these two different important dates right now in the index, and currently we are still within the same cycle, in my view. Alright, in our view, this is still within the same cycle from the March low. Uh, and if this is really going to extend higher now, obviously we're gonna break above here. Now, this is the pre COVID 19 low, uh, sorry, pre COVID 19 high, which has not been broken yet. So we have not been able to um, to really recover and break to new all time high in the case of the Dow futures. Now, the NASDAQ was able to do it, but not the Dow right not the Dow so far we are still in the recovery right now okay and um, for this move to actually plays out according to what we expect uh, the confirmation is really only after it breaks above here this June 9 low here sorry it's June 9 high right because technically speaking until we actually break above June 9 okay we could in fact be starting to reverse lower again until we break above to 9 right so um, if we don't break above to 9 uh, this could be doing a double correction like this in a 3 swing and a bigger 3 swing and that means that we might be already finished in the cycle from March low at this to 9 but if we break above to 9 then then that obviously means the cycle is remained active uh, and we will see extension higher uh, before finishing you know the the rally from the June sorry from the March 23rd right here okay now let's uh, think about a couple of possibilities here in terms of what could possibly go wrong okay what could possibly go wrong um, now I can see a couple of possibility in terms of alternates okay but there are a couple of possibilities but I, I will just highlight the the main one okay 
Now I think there is no question as of now what we see here is that we consolidate here since June 15 and then we broke higher right we broke above this previous June 16 high here now we can I mean how can we count this as a as a correction I think we can do it uh, in the following way if let's say if I label this as an A and I, I label this as a B so technically this could be a wave C right now which is should be a five waves right so this could be a one let's say here this is your one this is your two of C and this is your three of C <coughs> right and this could be your 4 of C so if that is the case then actually right now we are ending 5 of C uh, right we are ending 5 of C here now as long as the wave 3 is not the shortest wave <coughs> this view here actually is valid let me see what the extension is yeah so far this one is not really uh, it's not really in the shortest wave so this view here remains valid for now okay so in this kind of scenario uh, this is only a correction and then uh, because the correction is over and we are unable to break above 29 we can then you know do another leg lower here <coughs> maybe doing some sort of so, so this could be your wave A and this could be your wave B uh, as an ABC and then you got a C leg to correct to continue down Right, so that could be uh, an alternative scenario. So of course, I think uh, the the confirmation is uh, only after it breaks above two nine. But again, um, it's no use to speculate and being bearish, in my opinion, right? Uh, in this market, um, with uh, you know high tech stocks, it's like almost like picking picking the top, which is not really. It's nine out of ten is gonna be a, a bad idea to pick. Uh, a top or to pick the low also is never a good idea <coughs> okay so uh, high tech stocks remains very powerful very strong uh, and uh, therefore I think we still can see more upside still but again uh, until we uh, actually break above to nine uh, then then uh, this view here can 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 have alternate also but keep in mind though if you take a look at the SPX uh, it has already broken above that June 9 so uh, so that also confirm or supports the idea the right the right view uh, more like most likely is going to be extending higher okay so hopefully this video helps and as always um, I'll see you all again tomorrow and have a nice day to you all